All right, hello guys. Today's video is going to be about the TWAB uh, Bungie put out like an hour ago now, an hour and 30 minutes. Um, there is some pretty, I heard there is some pretty good stuff in this TWAB. A lot of good stuff in it. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and start out. Uh, we'll skip this. This is just them talking about how it's been, or Solstice and how 2020 has been, or 2021 has been. Uh, so basically they're, uh, since the launch of Season of the Splicer, we have been monitoring and, you know, monitoring reception and behavior around our new, uh, armor sy synthesis system. Today, we'd like to review a minor update about the system's currency. Basically, this entire thing is about them switching the armor, uh, the synthesis strand you'd get. You probably have seen it next year or under your glimmer, I think it is. Uh, you'll see a little icon of some, like, white, like, something encased in like a black and white um like casing and they're changing the bounties you can buy from her so they're getting rid of the syntha strand um the you know you have to collect that to buy the bounty to then get the stuff to make um the armor armor like the armor strap and the armor plate um they're turning into glimmer so honestly that's pretty nice and they're keeping it at 10 syntha weave tokens per class each season which honestly I'm fine with that. Uh, I like. I'm a hundred percent fine with that. I really don't care because ten is a lot. You, you've got to realize, out of all the armor pieces that somebody has, there's only a few that are actually really good that they, or maybe they, they like a, you know, something that somebody else doesn't like. So, you know, there, there's a lot of armor out there that, you know, you probably won't spend it on unless you, you know, get everything you want and then start spending it on that. It, there's really not much, so I'm fine with them doing this. Anyways, they, they talk about free, freeing up space in your inventory, it, it, consumable inventory. It, I mean, that's, yeah, no, that's definitely good. Uh, store renovations. The Bungie Store team has been hard at work behind the scenes making the Bungie Store a better place to shop. Um, basically, this entire part of the TWAB is them saying, hey, we're moving our store to a different, like, site, a new website. If you reset your password, you get this cool emblem, which I, I actually think this emblem is really good. I really like this emblem. Now, this is the best part of the TWAB, at least for me, and I know a lot of other people. Next week's Nightfalls will feature double rewards, so that means we're going to have double rewards, along with Palindrome, the Swarm, and the Shadow Price. And real quick, for everybody that hasn't done GMs, if you're like 1335, they're pretty easy with an LFG team as long as your two teammates aren't brain dead. It's just basically a, G, uh, a master nightfall, but with uh, limited revives, the guys are you're under level all the time, and you're um you uh you have a lot more champions. Which I mean, if you have a if you're careful about your playstyle and you run a really good loadout, especially if you're a stasis warlock, then easy. Um, basically. We're going to be able to get the swarm, which has, it, I think it's one. It's rather the only or one of the only uh, machine guns in the game that can roll with Vorpal, Which that if if the buffs to them next season are to PVE and they do better boss DPS, holy crap, Vorpal is going to like the swarm is going to be insane, especially with the adept, uh, and you get the adept big ones where it does uh, extra damage against uh, majors too. That's going to be insane. How, like, I came in... Exp Palindrome, still one of the best PvE and PvP hand cannons in the game. Definitely want to get that. I haven't got it. I haven't gotten any of these three because I didn't play that much last season. And then Shadow Price, it, it's it's pretty good in PvE. I see the, a lot of people using it in Master Vault. Anyways, moving on. Uh, speaking of Nightfall rewards, starting uh, in Season 15, the Nightfall weapon rotation will be changing. Basically... They're going from a 1-1-1-3 rotation. They're going to be putting in, uh, basically, they'll have eight guns, which means two new guns, um, which sadly is only two, but honestly, I'm fine with that as long as we can just keep... Well, I don't need the plug, or the Adept Plug 1, Uzume, or... Sorry about that. Something happened with my headset. Um, I don't need any of the three weapons this season because I've already got... It, look, I, I had insane luck this season. All three of them, first ones I get, all god rolls. I, I, 
yeah, I got insanely lucky. Um, basically, after that, uh, they're going to be changing into pairs. So, now this is the big part. As a uh, as a hilarious shotgun and rock, uh, rocket launcher, that was the ultimate reward for doing the longest crucible quest. We're going to be getting the comedian and the hothead. If you did not play D1, unlike some other people I know, a lot of people are going to be happy about seeing these things come back. This is the comedian. I'm thinking it's it, it, slug shotguns are really good for PvP right now, and they're really good for PvE. So the comedian might become the be uh, one of the best, if not the best, PvE shotgun in the game, depending on how good it is. We don't know yet. Um, it could be a meta for both. And then the hothead, which in my opinion has one of the sleekest, best-looking designs on a rock launcher they've ever created. I, I I like the feel of it, literally being a hot rod with little uh little uh, vents right here and honestly this thing does look really sleek i can't wait to see the adept version of this and if this thing can ro uh, load with something like auto loading um vorpal i'm gonna grab the adept and and or lasting pressure uh overflow i'm gonna be grabbing one of these when as soon as gms launch the day that uh this is in there and their uh gms Anyways, besides that, um, that's basically the end of it. Yeah, it's basically saying, like, you can get the Uzume RR4 Adept along with Palindrome Adept in one week, which is really nice. Um, I really like these pairing, or this pairing system. Um, base, and then the last part of the, like, the last part of the TWAB is, uh, I think it's mainly about them, like, it's them trying to hire a, uh, I, I don't know, a new engineer. Um, anyways, but besides that, this job was actually pretty good, not gonna lie, I really like, uh, now we know what our depth of weapon, or our weapons for next season will be, and we also know how they've changed that, they've done a lot of changes to the, uh, systems recently, so, I'm excited, uh, it'll make things feel fresh, but besides that, um, the last thing before we go, this is off topic, uh, I'm probably gonna be rather tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, you should see a YouTube video up on this channel about the Witch Queen leak that happened a few days back. I was late to it because I was hesitant on doing it at first because, to be honest, I didn't really want to, like, I didn't want to go on that topic, but it's it's so popular, I, I, I might as well. Um, but yeah, you should see that up there. And uh, in about an hour after the video, this video goes live, um, you can come and check me out on my stream um which will be in the description uh, the name will be in the description um but besides that yeah i guess that's uh that's it for today's video um i hope to see y'all again soon bye